So with the development of Scream 6 and its initial release for next year in 2023, I have to ask the question, what is this movie going to be about? Or more specifically, which horror genre is it trying to satirize? Because if you notice, every Scream movie has had a theme or commentary on specific horror movie genre. The first one, obviously everyone knows this, but in the first one, it was a commentary on horror movies, slasher movies mostly. You know, they talk about the tropes of the final girl, where she has to be a virgin, you know, someone that's supposed to be pure, certain things you're not supposed to do, otherwise you die, like saying, I'll be back because you won't be back, how there's the final jump scare, you know, the works. Scream 2 is a commentary on sequels not just horror sequels but sequels in general where everything has to be bigger and better than the first one where typically in a horror sequel it, you know there's more blood there's more kills and the gore is more brutal they're trying to up the ante from the first one i mean of course they even talk about it in film class where randy says sequels always suck which i strongly disagree part three is a commentary on trilogies they talk about how it's supposed to be the big finale how anything could happen anyone could die including Cindy prescott which of course that doesn't happen but also, the big thing was the big reveal that would tie into the first movie. Because true trilogies are all about going back to the beginning and discovering something that wasn't true from the get-go. Godfather, Jedi, all revealed something that we thought was true that wasn't true. Scream 4 is a commentary on the cliches of remakes. You got your new Cindy Prescott, your new Randy, etc. The killer is even copying the same pattern of the first killer from the first movie. It's also a commentary on the obsession of social media and internet fame. If you know, you know. And now finally, this leads us to the latest Scream movie, Scream 2022. This movie is a commentary or satire of rebootquels or requels. Reboots that are also sequels. You can't just reboot a franchise from scratch anymore. The fans won't stand for it. Black Christmas, Child's Play, Flatliners, that shit doesn't work. But you can't just do a straight sequel either. You gotta build something new, but not too new, or the internet goes bug fucking nuts. It's gotta be part of an ongoing storyline, even if the story shouldn't have been ongoing in the first place. New main characters, but supported by and related to legacy characters. Not quite a reboot, not quite a sequel, like the new Halloween, Saw, Terminator, Jurassic Park, Ghostbusters, fuck, even Star Wars, it always goes back to the original. But it's also a commentary on toxic fandom culture. Again, if you know, you know. And as a bonus, Scary Movie is not only obviously a parody of the Scream franchise, but also parodies in general. I mean, this also doubles down on satirizing the stupid choices that leads the characters to fucking die. Can I, can I just say I love Scary Movie? Ghostface in that is a legend. And so I'm kind of stumped with the sixth movie. What is the sixth movie going to be talking about? I got nothing. I seriously, I, I feel like we talked about everything. Is the next one horror movie knockoffs? Is it going to commentate on bad horror movie sequels? Talking about the pitfalls and the problems that all the bad sequels have that make it shit to begin with? Well, I mean, if you have any ideas, let me know. And subscribe if you haven't.